Okay, welcome to this video. So we're going to look at some examples we haven't seen before uh, in this video. So first, I'm just going to look at an easy example. If we have, well, not easy, but once you know how to do it, it's not too hard. Uh, y is equal to the square root of x, and that we want to find the dy dx. So we haven't seen the square root of x before. There's no rule for it, but there actually is. You just need to write the square root of x in a different way. So the square root of x, another way of writing that, is x to the power of a half. So that's indices, that's from our algebra chapter. So we have videos on those as well if you want to uh, look at those. So y is equal to the square root of x, that's the same thing as y is equal to x to the power of a half, okay? So let me just rewrite that down here. y is equal to x to the power of a half. So now if we want to get our dy dx, it's going to be the same as normal. So you're going to bring your half down, half, and multiply it by x to the power of minus a half okay and the reason it's minus a half is remember we're supposed to take one away from this and a half minus one is equal to minus a half is that okay so I just wrote that over and got rid of it so now we have dy dx is equal to a half multiplied by x to the power of a minus a half okay let's put a bracket around that so that's going to be equal to again a half multiplied by one over x to the power of a half, and again that's more indices, if you have x to the power of minus something, that's the same as 1 over x to the power of that something, we'll say. Uh, again then x to the power of a half, we've seen earlier, is the same thing as the square root of x, so that's going to be 1 over 2 times 1 over square root of x, so our final answer is 1 over 2 root x. Okay, so if they ask you to find dy dx of a square root, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get something like this. But the main idea, you don't have to learn this question off, is that you just know how to differentiate if it's to the power of a half. And also, if you see any kind of root, you need to put it into its indices first is the main thing. And then after that, you can bring the half down and multiply it just like any other number. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this and we're going to go ahead with another example. Okay, so here's our second example now. So this one's going to be a little bit harder. So hopefully, uh, it might come with practice, you might not see it straight away, but with practice you should be able to see straight away what kind of method you're going to have to do. So this here, we're going to have to use the chain rule, because we have a function, x squared plus 4, within another function, which is the cubed root, okay? So there's two functions, we've got a function within a function, so our chain rule, and if you watch that video, we're going to use our Arabic onion method. So I'm just going to write that again, just for comic effect, really, Arabic onion. Um, it doesn't matter if it's funny, if it works, it works, okay? So remember, that's going to be from right to left, and it's also going to be, we're going to do it in layers, okay? So we're just going to bear that in mind when we're answering this question. So the first layer, first thing we're going to do is actually, before we do any layers, is we're going to change it. So it's going to be x squared plus 4 to the power of a third, okay? So that's really important, because we can't really do anything when it's the cube root. We have to change it to the power of a third first. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now we're going to start trying to differentiate it, okay? And um, we'll go to purple. We're going to say that dy dx, okay? So we're going to differentiate this whole big thing first, okay? So imagine we have one thing to the power of a third, and we're trying to differentiate it, okay? So we're going to bring the third down, 1 over 3, and then we're going to multiply it by what we had, to the power of 1 third minus 1, if you want to stick that into your calculator, it'll be minus 2 over 3. Okay, so that's the outside layer done. So we went from right to left, and the 1 third was the first kind of function we found, so we, that one first, and now we're going to do the second layer, which is going to be in here. It's going to be x squared plus 4, and if we differentiate that, we're going to find that it's 2x. So I just do that dot just to say that they're both multiplied by each other. Remember, it's going to be layer 1 multiplied by layer 2. And that's our answer, okay? So I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. Um, we're going to say then that dy dx is equal to 2x over 3 multiplied by x squared plus 4 minus 2 over 3. So if you want, you can write that in a more complicated way. You can kind of use the indices, but this answer here is fine, okay? So again, this is a little bit more practice of the chain rule, and um, just make sure to always change these roots into indices before you start, okay? Hope the video helped.